Members of the Danish royal family attend the 2023 New Year Gala Banquet in Copenhagen. The Royal Hashemite Court announces the wedding date for His Royal Highness Crown Prince Al Hussein of Jordan and Miss Rajwa Alsai. And Prince Albert II of Monaco delivers his 2023 New Year's speech. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Well, good evening, everyone, and Happy New Year, and welcome to my channel. My name is Alexandra, and this is your Royal Daily News for January 1st, 2023. In Copenhagen, Her Majesty Queen Margrethe II of Denmark hosted the traditional New Year's levy and banquet inside Christian VII's slot at Emelienborg. Guests in attendance included their Royal Highnesses Crown Prince Frederick and Crown Princess Mary of Denmark, His Royal Highness Prince Joachim of Denmark, Her Royal Highness Princess Benedicte of Denmark, Princess of St. Wittgenstein Berlberg, the Speaker of the Danish Parliament, the Prime Minister of Denmark, Miss Meta Fredriksen members of the Danish government, members of the Danish royal court, and specially invited guests. Unfortunately, Her Royal Highness Princess Marie of Denmark did not attend this evening's gala banquet. The reason? His Excellency, Count Henrik of Montpezat, is ill, and the princess wanted to remain by his side in Paris. So, what was on this evening's menu? Well, for the main course, the royal family and their guests dined on New Year's cod with spinach beetroot with Dijon sauce. Reindeer cutlet with fried pears, marrow mousse, and pepper sauce. And for dessert, there was citrus cake with fruits from the orangery at Fredensborg Slot. Last evening, Her Majesty the Queen gave her traditional New Year speech live on Danish television. In her speech, Her Majesty the Queen reflected on the year 2022, which included the energy crisis, climate change that is noticeable in the Faroe Islands as well as in Greenland, the war in Ukraine, and the rising cost of living. Her Majesty the Queen also highlighted the many accomplishments Denmark and its citizens have achieved in 2022, including Mr. Jonas Vinegard, who won the Tour de France, Danes who achieved, quote, outstanding results in badminton and tennis on the international sports scene, the Royal Run, Crown Princess Mary's 50th birthday, and Professor Morten Mendal, who recently won the 2022 Nobel Prize in Chemistry to name a few accomplishments. Her Majesty the Queen also spoke about her children and grandchildren, specifically their Royal Highnesses Prince Joachim and Princess Marie of Denmark, and the removal of styles and titles from her four grandchildren. Quote, For most of us, our family is one of the most important things in our life. We see how our children develop and how they tackle life's challenges, each in their own way. We are happy for them, we worry about them, and we wish for them to do well. I always feel great love for my entire family. Difficulties and misunderstandings may arise in any family, also in mine. The whole country has witnessed that. That the relationship with Prince Joachim and Princess Marie has run into difficulties, and that makes me sad. We have now had a quieter period and time for reflection. And I am sure that our family can embark on the new year together with confidence, understanding, and new courage. End quote. Her Majesty the Queen also spoke about her historic Golden Jubilee year, in which she thanked the Danish people for, quote, the many greetings I have received. Thank you for the happy smiles I have met everywhere. Thank you for the support for our country and for the love that surrounds me and my family. This is something that gives us all strength, both in everyday life and when problems arise, end quote. If you're interested in reading Her Majesty Queen Margrethe II of Denmark's speech, in its entirety, it's available in the description box below. In Oslo, His Majesty King Harald V of Norway delivered his traditional New Year speech last evening from the Royal Palace. In his speech, His Majesty the King spoke about the war in Ukraine, democracy, hope, peace, unity, and the importance of looking out for and taking care of others and helping those in need. Quote, it is perhaps especially important to say this tonight. When there is war in Europe, more difficult times in Norway, and people are struggling. Both the history of the world and the history of Norway and the life stories of individuals are full of stories about falling and getting back up. This is the rhythm of history and life itself. We fall and we rise again, again and again. But we rarely do it alone. We need each other. And we must look out for each other. 
both out of the country and in solidarity with other people, in our own lives, to meet the gaze of others who need us, but also to seek the gaze of those who can help when we ourselves need it. It is a strength to be able to ask for help when we need it. Dear all, over the past year, we have experienced a new unity in the West and Europe. Across dividing lines, we have managed to stand together in a community of values and security. Our part of the world has recognized that we need each other, that we are both stronger and safer together. It gives us hope in the situation we are now in and for the future. I believe in talking to each other, to take the time to try to understand, and to take each other in the best sense. It can be a bit tiring, but it's worth the effort in the long run. In this way, we can preserve and strengthen the Norway we have built together. And everyone can contribute by recognizing that we need each other, both in the world and in everyday life, by looking up and by asking, what can I do for you? I wish everyone a very happy new year. End quote. If you're interested in reading His Majesty the King's speech in its entirety, it's available in the description box below. In Stockholm, the Swedish Royal Court released a new photo of His Majesty King Carl Gustaf of Sweden on the occasion of his Golden Jubilee year. The image was taken by Swedish photographer Mr. Thron Ulberg inside the Rikssalen at the Royal Palace. In Monacoville, His Serene Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco gave his traditional New Year's speech inside the Salle de Garde at the Palais Princière. In his speech, the Sovereign Prince spoke about unity, hope, compassion towards others, the environment, the energy crisis, and the upcoming elections, both national and municipal, and much more. At the end of his speech, the Sovereign Prince was joined by Her Serene Highness Princess Charlene of Monaco, His Serene Highness Hereditary Prince Jacques of Monaco, and Her Serene Highness Princess Gabriella of Monaco, to wish you a very Happy New Year. In Amman, Her Majesty Queen Rania of Jordan took to social media yesterday to wish everyone a, quote, Happy New Year from our family to yours. May it be peaceful and blessed one for our beloved country and for you all, end quote. Meanwhile, the Royal Hashemite Court announced the wedding date for His Royal Highness Crown Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II of Jordan and Miss Rajwa Khalid bin Musad bin Saif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saif. The wedding will take place on June 1, 2023, in Jordan. The couple became engaged on August 17, 2022, at the home of Miss Al Saif's father in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. In Tokyo, their Imperial Majesties Emperor Norohito and Empress Masako of Japan, accompanied by Her Imperial Highness Princess Aiko of Japan, along with other members of the Imperial family, received New Year greetings at the Imperial Palace. According to Kyoto News, this morning's ceremony was scaled down for the third straight year due to the COVID-19 pandemic, though the number of participants increased, quote, from a year before by taking infection prevention measures, end quote. There was also a notable change during the ceremony. Traditionally, the women of the imperial family wear tiaras during the New Year greeting ceremony. However, this year, at the request of the emperor and empress, they were politely asked not to wear a tiara. The reason? The emperor and empress, though happy to participate in the ceremony after a three-year absence, wanted a scaled-back version, quote, that it took the pandemic into consideration, end quote. Thereafter, Emperor Norohito, Empress Masako, and Princess Aiko of Japan visited Emperor Emeritus Akihito and Empress Emerita Mashiko of Japan at Sento Palace to celebrate the start of the new year. Last evening, the Imperial Household Agency released new photos and video of the Imperial Family of Japan on the occasion of the new year. The images and video of their Imperial Majesties Emperor Norohito and Empress Masako of Japan and Her Imperial Highness Princess Aiko of Japan were taken on December 23rd at the Imperial Palace in Tokyo. The images and video of Emperor Emeritus Akihito and Empress Emerita Mashiko of Japan were taken on December 6, 2022 at Sento Palace in Tokyo. And finally, the images and video of Their Imperial Highnesses Crown Prince Akishino and Crown Princess Kiko of Japan with their children, Her Imperial Highness Princess Kako of Japan, 
and His Imperial Highness Prince Hisahito of Japan were taken at their home in Tokyo on December 24, 2022. In Luxembourg City, their royal highnesses Grand Duke Henri and Grand Duchess Maria Theresa of Luxembourg, along with their family, released a statement on the new year in which they wanted to say thank you, a warm thank you for the support and kind messages they received during the year. They also send you their best wishes and look forward to seeing you in 2023. In Bangkok, His Majesty King Rama X of Thailand delivered his New Year speech from the Throne Hall at Doucette Palace. Meanwhile, His Majesty King Felipe VI of Spain arrived in Brasilia, Brazil, to attend the inauguration ceremony of the transfer of presidential command to the president-elect of Brazil, Luis Ignacio Lula da Silva. Upon his arrival at Brasilia Air Base this morning, His Majesty the King was warmly welcomed by various Brazilian government officials. Thereafter, His Majesty the King held a meeting with representatives of the Spanish community in Brazil, as well as attended a luncheon with the President of the Republic of Portugal, Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa. And finally, in Sandringham, Their Majesties King Charles III and the Queen Consort of the United Kingdom attended Sunday service at the St. Mary Magdalene Church. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow on Monday, January 2nd with all the latest royal news. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful evening and Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs> I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful new year filled with much happiness, good fortune, and good health. And with that, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.